Shams will introduce uh, his mentor and a little bit about the mentor organization and how about a microphone? I know you'd like to project, but let's give the microphone. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Shams. Before I start anything, I would like to say one thing which I have noticed from my first day here. Being at the UT team, Dr. Sarah, or my mentor, I always have tears in my eyes. The humbleness you people have is something really amazing. I learned this and definitely I will try to practice this in my life. Thank you. Thank you, Shams. So welcome, friends. My mentor is Mr. Bob Gardner. He is from University of Texas, Arlington. This is a, a, a very accessible university. And uh, I, I thank Dr. Sarah and team that uh, what is my topic is accessibility and they have uh, matched with me. So I will go ahead with this. Here is one picture in front of you, friends. This picture is having two shades. So to this picture, I would like to give my introduction. I hail from a very small family background in a very small district of Rathos village. My grandfather, he was a wrestler and I born in a sports family background. I feel lucky. Being a child, if I wanted to play, I don't have other options than go for swimming because my area is totally covered with three rivers and ponds. Mm -hmm. So there is next to my house, there is a small pond. If I will fall down also, I will fall into the pond. <laughs> so swimming is something like necessity for me. I learned swimming at a very early uh, age and I used to complete that small pond in my village and people used to applaud it and I used to get motivated. For educational career back, for education purpose, I relocated from my village to a city called Mumbai. My brother took me here and during first visit, he took me to a, a near the sea because we have sea uh, near Mumbai. And he asked me, Shams, you used to swim in, uh, at our village. Can you swim in this? I was just six years old and unknowingly I said, yes, I can. <laughs> but I did not get a chance to do that time because I was not at all aware. And I was very much passionate about uh, martial arts. So I learned karate. I become black belt. I played on various level and uh, made my country proud internationally. Unfortunately, in 2010, I got spinal cord tumor in my spine and I used to go for an uh, operation and I became a paraplegic. Here, my dream got shattered because I wanted to participate in Olympics and represent my country. But because of paraplegia, I was unable to do karate again. I shifted to a rehabilitation center and there I got a chance to meet Mr. Raja Ram Dhar. He is a differently able who have conquered English channel. And when I sp speak with him, he told me that you know swimming and swimming can be used as a part to give shine to your dream and you can represent your country in Paralympics. And even doctors told me that you can take swimming 
as a aqua therapy it will help you to regenerate your nervous system and then i started swimming slowly and i loved it and then i played on national and international level i would like to share you one thing in 2014 what i did unknowingly again here indian navy have organized open sea swimming in indian sea the same place almost 1000 plus participate all able body participated in this and i said i would like to participate in this and on th this day the 6 km open sea swimming friends i completed in 1 hour and 40 seconds which become lipka book of record and here i realized that whatever you wish you can back when i said my brother that yes i can swim i was not at all aware that i am going to make it one day happen and i made it so i can i only wanted to see uh, say that in this picture one side is showing a professional athlete and other side is a a differently able person with degree in hands and all education but in indian society we feel discriminated though we have law but still it is inequality is there we don't get proper job opportunity so that's why i am showing this picture and all on all of this i would like to say that being a differently able i did not change i found myself here is some of my road map i would like to uh, take you along with story one more story i will share then what so what now what mission vision objective activities potential partner evaluation and finally i will take you on conclusion he is my friend prashantam back from bihar in 2014 he became a quadriplegic due to some accident he was bedridden for almost 4 year because of inaccessibility he was not able to come out of home and do his uh, pursue his educational career and sports back in 2016 <coughs> we in bihar organized a para swimming uh, camp and i told him let's try to come out try to participate i think you will love it and maybe it will change your life he came he participated he loved it and he then participated on national level and he got silver medal so that silver medal is not only silver medal for him but that silver medal gives him motivate him and other differently able people and he will get recognition from the state department he will get 1 lakh rupees cash prize also from the state department so that shows that sports is something he was for four, four years he was bedridden but when he came out he started playing he got fame he got fame he is getting money now and he is feeling empowered now and he is uh, on top of that he is motivating others person also then here is uh, accessibility is the what is our the main question the picture is self explanatory friend there is one child he wanted to go to some schools but we feel some obstacle the infrastructure which is not allowing us to go into the school we have right to live we have right to education and we have right to play though we have our disability bill passed in 2016 in india but it's not implementing on ground level so we want 
the people, the leaders to implement those law and rule so we can assure that every child with disability, whether any kinds of disability, he or she can go to schools and all the access. I would like to give you some uh, a broader picture. We, uh, India is like very populated country, almost 1.3 billion population in which 2.68% of people are there with uh, disability. 51% people are male and 49% women with disability. 69% people reside in rural areas, whereas 39% only in urban areas. So what I'm going to do is, I'm possible, I'm going to establish a para sports association, Madhubari, we have by the end of 2018. And I will make sure it is affiliated with the state association, so we have legal right. Back in uh, uh, USA, when I went to UT Southwestern Hospital and Rehabilitation Center, we come to know one very uh, good statistic, that only 40% people are aware about the adaptive sports and recreation while 60% people are not aware. Being a medical practitioner, I wanted to go into the rehabilitation center and I wanted to convey them, rehabilitation is just not a part of medical thing. We have to include, we have to include uh, sports which will give you the, uh, you know, which will empower people to go back and have uh, uh, sports and they can improve their self. And then awareness in different spinal cord injury, as I told, I will try to organize two get together in a six month and make sure the people should have fun. As I learned here in the mingle exercise, very important exercise, I will try to make it uh, practical there. And preparing the database of the family, athletes, volunteer, and making accessibility awareness. Our mission is to establish a grassroots level para sports association in Madhubari district for people with disability to develop and showcase their talent. Our vision is to see the people with disabilities having strong belief in themselves by playing sports, making change in society, and living independently with disability, as I share the story of Prasutta. Our goal is to establishment of Para Sports Association Madhubani by the end of 2018, making online and offline members identifying emerging para-athletes, accessibility in sports complex, schools and hospitals. Making online and offline, as I said, because I feel personally, social media is playing a vital role in our, in our life. And through this platform, I would like to thank Mr. Mark Zuckerberg for creating Facebook. So we are getting connected <laughs> everywhere. Here's some pictures I would like to show you, friends. The activities which I am going to do is, uh, the first picture is National Sports uh, Championship through which we can, uh, you know, uh, find out uh, some uh, emerging para-athletes. And this other picture shows how we can have a small get-together and we can come up with some creative ideas to empower the life of other people of disability. This picture is showing the, we have in Mumbai, uh, a marathon, international marathon. So through the marathon, we try to showcase other uh, issues such as making public transport accessible in the society and other disability related issues. <laughs> the goal of GSMP is uh, uh, PA Passport Association Madhubani is to launching a website, account of all social media, marketing strategies, partnering with some sports and other relative uh, uh, brands in medical supplier etc. Reaching out 1 million people by 2020. I believe people don't like strength they lack will. Trust me, I have will. Why I'm saying this? Because accessibility is not an active challenge, but a passive disconnection. It is not in their consciousness. Because when I uh, uh, visited one of my friends, claiming it was not accessible. But when I made her realize that I need ramp facility, she made it and, uh, and there is ramp now. And another thing I would like to share is one of my university where I did my MBA, it was also not accessible. But now when I make them realize that accessibility is important, the university is accessible, accessible and people are, uh, wheelchair users are getting education there. 
The same like ramp my restaurant, accessible beach fairs, enabling travel, public transport, and sports complex. Potential partner is like we, we need somewhere around 2.5 lakh rupees to have our uh, yearly expenses. And then uh, Paraplegic Foundation, this is one of the rehabilitation foundation, Rotary Club, Para Sports Association Bihar, Enabled Travel, Sports Authority of Bihar. These kind of these are our uh, found, uh, fundraiser and partner. Then this is the evaluation is like we will try to reach out at least 100 differently able people uh, by 2019 and the accessibility into a sports complex and then uh, producing uh, para athletes in a uh, five para athletes in a state. And the last picture I would like to say friend, uh, picture itself is showing that this is accessibility why? Because I feel friends, being an individual, if you are trying to make your home, make it accessible. Or being an entrepreneur, if you are trying to make your workplace, make it accessible because infrastructure is very important. Make sure people may come from all walks of life in your uh, service taking or uh, receiving. And on top of this, we, we want you to work with us from uh, all of us over here, Parasports Association Madhubani, to make accessibility on par in India because we exist. then no, no one has that time. So I, I would advise to pick some key points if he's going to present the, the work plan, the points that he can present to, to the people he wants to work with. Rather than a lot of this, our story, our story is important, but if you are looking for funds, you need to, to bring a story that is going to help you to, to convince that, look here, it was like this, but I managed to reach here because of, I, didn't, I didn't do A, B, C, D. But if you talk about different stories, again, it, it frustrates the person you are going to. Then the other thing is uh, that when you talk of, of, of developing this, of using sport to change, the, maybe the perception of the, the people, you are beginning at the national level. I didn't see any program uh, coming from the grassroots. You, you, the, the, the activities that you want to do are beginning at the national level, and perhaps the national level people are somewhere, and you are living this community, which would help you build uh, the message that you want to, to talk about. Then you talked of a a, 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 the issue of accessibility, and you had a very good picture showing how someone failed to reach the school because of uh, the, the stairs. But you did not show how you are going to address that so that the children with disability are not affected by the inaccessible environment to attain their, their education. So I, I, I feel you need to look into all those things and you improve somewhere. Yeah, Larry, I, I kind of disagree. Um, not surprising, I suppose. <laughs> uh, in that you did, you did highlight that the next step is awareness. And it always begins with awareness uh, because you know the, those architectural barriers removal are a result of a cultural change in the way that the powers that be and the general society thinks. So um, I guess in your defense, it, it, it is a lifelong process that you are involved in and you're, thank God you're a young man but you will continue to face those challenges. And so I guess I would agree from the standpoint of what are the next steps beyond awareness? And my hope is that, that it would be to find some funding to begin with schools and government offices so that people with uh, physical impairments are able to fully participate. Your thoughts? Uh, thank you. Pindi, um, uh, I would like to say for whatever I was going to speak, it's not on the national level. 
I am going, uh, we have in India, Paralympic Committee of India is very well organized committee and we have national, uh, a Rio gold medalist. So the Paralympic Committee of India is very big organization. The thing what I talk is something very <coughs> grassroots level. I'm going to start on a district level. So people at rural areas, they will get proper communications. On national level, we are doing very fantastic. We have two gold medals in the year of Paralympics and many, many medalists are there. So on national level, we are doing very good. My aim is to start these things on a district level. That's why I am going to found Para Sports Association Madhubani, which is a small district in a village. And um, uh, as you said, sir, like uh, accessibility, uh, why, how I'm going to implement all these things is like, as I have told you, we have done already many access audit for different uh, schools and uh, universities and they are trying to make it change, they are trying to adopt it. It's all about how you make a smile and make them realize that we need accessibility is a need of time. And accessibility is not only for the people with disability, but also for the women with pregnancy, for the old age people and children. So it's almost covering the 40% of population. So that's the reason I am I'm working on accessibility. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Patrick, did you have something and then Danny? Uh, my question is just, uh, are, you, are you only working with swimming or there's other sporting code that you will be doing? No, we are working with all the things. And this association, we are working with uh, spinal cord people, we are working with uh, visually impaired people. We are working with all the different kinds of disability. In fact, we have special Olympic also, and we are including people with spina bifida, Down syndrome, all kinds of disability people. And what about I, was, I was referring to sports. Like, are you doing only swimming? Uh, no, no. We, we, we do have all the sports. We have wheelchair basketball, we have fencing, we have swimming, we have athletics, we have um, table tennis, we have badminton, and many, many, all the sports. Are, I, I can say um, India is a most of the emerging nation in para sports. Mm. Danny. Yeah, so. Uh, with due respect, Mr. President, not as a rebuttal, but just to sort of like recognize your story and what you've gone through. I think it's it's magnificent how you took your initial aspiration to become a sportsman uh, and leaving that aside and taking up an aspiration to become a para uh, Olympian. Uh, I mean, I always aspire to be a, a sportsman or an Olympian myself and to see you still have that drive, even with the difficulties that you might face is, is just fantastic. So kudos to you on that. And I would just say that as much as the work that you're looking to do, the, the, the organization that you're looking to form and uh, uh, the impact you're looking to create is fantastic, but do use your uh, successes or your story as inspiration for others uh, to have, make them have the same aspirations and to send a positive message out in society because I think your story is great, uh, what you've achieved is great and inshallah going forward what you can achieve will even be much more significant. So yeah, good. Thank you Dhani and Shalvi. I think uh, that's what I believe and uh, I believe like leaders don't create uh, just people, they create leaders and I feel being a change maker in the society, as I have shared you the story of Prashottam, and it's not only the Prashottam, there are millions of uh, differently abled people back in India, and I, me and myself and my, fr uh, my other friends, we are trying to you know, motivate them and come out of from the home, those people. Uh, last, I organized a swimming camp in which you won't believe people, they said, Shams, we had this experience after 17 years. After 20 years, people, they are saying, so this is like how people are, just because of inaccessibility, they are at home, they are not able to you know, explore their self. So all this kind of thing. So through this sports organization, we are trying to you know, make them realize that you have something in yourself and you can, you can believe themselves. Absolutely. Any other, I thought I saw a hand. Yeah. With, yes. Uh, you said um, you would want to reach one million, I have a website registered for Madhubani and I would reach one million. Uh, you might want to check the numbers because Madhubani might not even have uh, that much population and more so disabled population. Uh, thank you, uh, Justin. So that's the reason behind I told you, my friend, 
Uh, Madhubani, yes, uh, the population of Madhubani is not that much, but as today is a world of internet, and we are trying to, as we have Parasports Association, which is already registered, and we have Facebook page. So people from across the India, not only from the India, but across the world, they are trying to get in touch through us, and they are seeing our videos. One of my video has been released, and that reached somewhere around 95,000 views on Facebook. So you know, people are trying to get in touch through us, and that's the reason, that's why I said here, we will try to make members through online and offline. So in our rural areas, we will try to, we can get, uh, contact them personally, but those who are not able to get it personally, we will try to make them through the uh, Facebook or other social media. So that's why I said, uh, thanks. All the best. Thank you. Yes.